This is an example of capital budgeting. So we are going to start with a project that has a cash outflow of $50,000 and then a cash inflows of $15,000 for the next five years. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in cumulative cash flow. So in order to figure out the cumulative cash flow in year zero, it is what you spent. So we have negative $50,000. And then in year one, we have the prior cumulative cash flow plus cash flow for this year. And then we're just going to drag, drag that formula down. So each year we get $15,000 closer. So cumulative cash flow turns positive in year four. So in order to calculate the payback period, I'm going to type in payback here. In year zero, that doesn't count as a year. That's just showing our outflow. I'm going to put a zero. And then in each year after year zero, that it's negative cumulative cash flow. I'm just going to put a one. I'm just literally typing this. Okay. Now I got to the year where it is a where the cash flow turns from positive from negative to positive. So there's a formula. I'm going to take. I'm going to put a negative sign because I want the positive value. We need $5,000 um, in order to reach zero, because that's what we're trying to find, payback. And I'm going to divide that by the cash flow in this year. It's giving me this because I set it up in a formula. So um, payback, we just stopped. We don't care about cash flow after we got paid back. So I'm going to add this up, sum equals sum. And the payback is three years, 3.33333 years. And this is years. So if I were to calculate payback, it's this is the payback, 3.3 years. The next technique that we're going to talk about is net present value. So we already have the cost of capital. They told us that in the problem that the cost of capital is 12%. Um, and these were the cash flows. And we've already calculated cumulative cash flow. So in order to calculate net present value of the problem, I'm going to click the function box and type NPV. You can type NPV up here. I, I was already doing this, so it's already in my formula, but net present value. Click OK. Under rate, you select the cost of capital. Under value one, you're going to take all the positive or cash inflows. So I'm just going to start on year one and scroll all the way down to year five. And then I'm going to click OK. So this is the NPV of all of these inflows, but we have to add the net present value of year zero, which is already in present value form because it is year zero, plus the negative outflow. So this means that the net present value, and we take into account the time value of money, so basically we're discounting the money, the future cash flows, that this project would give net present value of $4,071.64. Number more than zero brings value to the firm. Okay, so now we're going to talk about another capital budgeting technique, which is called IRR, or internal rate of return. This is where we're going to guess the internal rate of return here. So instead of guessing by hand, we're going to have Microsoft Excel guess for us. So we're going to go to the function box, and we're going to go to IRR, IRR, IRR. Click Go. We're going to select this. And this, you include all the values, including the negative value. And the internal rate of return is 15%. If IRR is more than cost of capital, a good investment. Okay, so now we've done IRR, payback, net present value. Now we're going to do profitability index. Profitability and can spell index. So we're going to find the net present value of inflows divided by
net present value of outflows. Any number of flows. Oops. Any number greater than one. Less than one means more outflow than inflow of cash. Because we're talking about how much cash are we going to make on this. All right, so profitability index and PI. All right, so I'm going to take the net present value, which I already looked at. The cost of capital is the same. It's still the 12%. I'm only going to take the inflows here. And then I'm going to take the net present value of the outflows in absolute value form, which means no negative. Oops. Absolute. So I have $50,000 worth of outflows. I have the net present value of all the inflows is $54,000. i am going to divide this. $54,071.64 divided by $50,000. Anything greater than one, we would say yes to. And these are general capital budgeting techniques.